Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in yesterday's video, we have seen how we can fetch data from our contact contactors form using name attribute. And in today's video, I am going to introduce one another concept which is known as forms in Django. So in this form basically works like HTML forms. Okay, but we are going to write that form in Python and we will render that form in HTML. So to do that, first we will create forms.py in our app folder which is main. So I will create new file forms.py enter. Before that I will enable screencast mode. So control shift P and I will select screencast mode. Now here I will write from Django import forms okay so we need to import forms to create form in Django now forms are created using classes so class I will write contact form and here we will extract forms dot model form okay and then we will create one another class which will hold our fields so that is meta class and here we will give model equals to equals to contact and to import contact we will write from dot models import contact okay now here see number one rule you can give any class name over here but you can't change class name meta over here you will need to write meta with capital m not with small m otherwise it will not recognize it so make sure you write class as meta only and here we will give another one another variable which will be fields so here so fields equals to here we will we can pass fields with two rules first if we want to pass each and every i mean each and every attributes okay from our model then you can simply go ahead and do underscore underscore all okay now if you don't want to pass every fields from our model then you can do fields i am commenting this above line okay i will copy this paste it and you can pass tuple so i will create tuple first i will write first underscore name so it will be first underscore name last underscore name then email okay like this but first let me comment this line and uncomment this so first let's us see that how we can fetch data using Django forms okay so go to views.py here I will comment all this code okay I will import forms so from dot forms import contact form okay and then here down I will write forum so form is equals to contact form now we will check for post request because we are going to pass post request you can see here we have specified that so here I will check for post request and the line is going to be same so I'll copy paste it now here if we have post request then we will make our form post so I will copy this and paste it and here I will write request dot post 
request dot post so it will accept post request then we need to check whether the data is validated or not because when we will write any data we will write any data in our field then it should verify that so if form dot is valid then we will simply save form so form dot save and it is and if the data is not valid then we will just render the form so else form is equals to this contact form now here we will pass the form so i will write form and form okay save this go to contact us page i will comment all this code okay mm -hmm. now i will come down and direct uh, just write form so form save this i will delete this terminal i will again open my terminal so my environment will be activated automatically and i will write python manage.py run server hit enter okay and you can see okay so tick tick what's up we have error okay we don't need to pass double curly brackets refresh you can see we have got our form now i will open admin panel also contact okay you can see we have got the one object only now let's pass some data over here so i will write john sing john at the rate john.com i will write phone number and i will say hello 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 okay but we don't have submit button so we need to create that uh, i will just copy the above submit button this copy and paste it below the form come over here refresh and you will see the submit button now we can do again john sing john at john.com 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and you will write it hello hello okay and hit on submit i think it should create the data okay you can see we have got the data now this we have done this but what if we want to bring the only selective field okay as i told here if i want to get only selected field then i need to write pass the tuple so i will comment this and i will uncomment the field sorry and i will uncomment this field okay save this come over here and refresh you can see we got only three fields right but we have one another parameter which is exclude okay so we will comment this and i will just write here exclude is equals to here we will exclude will take tuple so write tuple and i want to exclude for example first name so I'll copy first name, paste it over here, and don't forget to give comma after the value, otherwise it will not accept as tuple if you know Python. Save this, come over here and refresh. You can see we have not got first name and it's starting directly from the last name. So here, one another thing that you can't change these variables. You need to write model as modern only you need to write fields as field only 
and you you need to write exclude as exclude only and yeah in tomorrow's video we are going to see that how we can pass it, the classes if you press control u in chrome browser and go ahead and see the data of the forum then you can say it is in tabular form okay so here i will show you one another thing which is we can do our form as paragraph also so as underscore p it will take it as a paragraph if you write as underscore table then it will take it as a table okay so this was the two basic thing we like if you want to print the form but what if you want the form which we have displayed like here only so if you want the design very good so for that we have widgets which we are going to see in next video okay so if we want to access individual fields like let's say example first i will comment this exclude and then comment this all fields now what if you want to access individual fields so for that remove the uh, form uncomment this div tags uncomment this tag uh, code and here let's say i want in greedy form something like this okay so i will remove this button also we have to submit buttons now so i want in this manner so here i will just comment this line let's remove only i will remove this line and here in double curly braces i will write form dot first underscore name save this and if you will come over here and refresh then you can see we have got first name same way we can do for last name so i will remove this input field copy and here i will write last name okay then here i will do for email so form dot e underscore mail you need to write these names same as the field which you have passed over here okay so i will write phone underscore number so form dot phone number then we have text area so here i will write form dot contact underscore message hit save come over here and refresh you can see we have got our form in greedy and we can in access individual fields like this okay in some scenarios you need to place your fields in the greedy form like in different different columns okay at that time you can use this method otherwise if you want uneven design then you can directly just pass like this form okay so in next video we will see that how we can pass the classes to our field so and that is known as widgets so in next lecture we will see widgets in forms so this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you